CEO? Well, you know, I, I spent my whole career in corporate education. Mm -hmm. And I, had a, uh, I started at Oracle, and I had a very brief career as a trainer. Mm -hmm. I taught uh, people how to use Oracle software. Uh, it was sort of this, the coup of my career, really, is to have been this technical trainer right. uh, with right. actually very little technical background. So that was, that was a story in and of itself. But then I got thrown into management. Uh, I, I consider it as a child. I was like 24, 25 years old. They're like, you're now in charge of training for the company. And Larry Ellison wants a university, so go build this university. So I'm very young for a really big job. And mm -hmm. I think it's where I became really interested in leadership because I had no idea what I was doing. I was woefully underqualified for a fairly big uh, leadership job. And I spent a lot of time watching executives. And I was at Oracle 17 years, running the university, running uh, wow. the talent development function for the company, I leave and I start doing executive coaching. And uh, I spent a couple years doing that and that's where really the, the need for the multipliers book arose. And then I decided I would go into to research. And one of the things about my career, I always felt very comfortable moving into different parts of, of leadership development and education because that was my experience at Oracle. It's like you kind of got the job before you fully had the skills. Sure, yeah. And so when um, I had this idea and I needed to write this, I thought, you know, this can't be that hard. Uh, you know, I've spent my career working with people who are professors and researchers and I don't know, that seems mm -hmm. pretty doable. So mm -hmm. I started doing that. So I've, I've really been at the leadership development for, I guess it's about 25 years now.